One of the amazing things about being a child of God is that amazingly, we have some divine help to ensure that we are protected at all times. The Sovereign Lord is always watching over us. Even when we're not thinking about Him, God does not take days off. Prayer is a powerful tool to fellowship with God. It provides us with the opportunity to spend time with Yahweh, the giver of life. Also, prayer helps us to find protection, strength, and hope for our tomorrow. We should always pray and believe that God is listening and God is ready to answer our prayers. Prayer can safeguard us from every harm and every evil pursuit. We live in a world that is filled of situations and events that bring anxiety and fear. It is so easy for us to be overwhelmed and imprisoned by fear, but thank God God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love and of a sound mind. Therefore, it is important we always trust in God for our protection in whatever situation we may face. We should never underrate what prayer does for us in all circumstances. The good news is our Heavenly Father understands exactly what we need when we ask Him. Therefore, if you're praying for protection for yourself, your children or your family or the world, know that God is listening and be confident that He will answer. Now let us pray this prayer every day. Almighty and everlasting Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory and all the adoration. You have protected me during this night. You have, Lord, with the invisible protection of your providence, have preserved me from the power of the enemy. And I thank you for that, Lord. I ask that you may be merciful and watch over me and each and every one of my loved ones this day. Direct our souls and bodies according to your will and fill our hearts with the Holy Spirit that we may live this day and every other day to your glory. Thank you, Lord, for assuring us that when I dwell in the secret place and under the shadow of your wings, you will protect me guide me and keep me for you are my refuge and my place of safety thank you father that no matter where i go today your hand will lead me your right hand will uphold me for you are in me in dwelling in my heart by the holy spirit who is my ever-present help in times of trouble i pray Isaiah 54 17 over my life no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus name father let this be a reality in my life whatever the enemy throws at me will not prosper whatever the enemy throws at my loved ones will not prosper in Jesus name whatever challenge or hurdle that may be put in our way, we will overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray Isaiah 54 17 over each and every one of my family members in Jesus name. Let this verse be a living reality in their life. Nothing that is not of you will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that I will have a spirit of strength and courage and refuse to be afraid or fearful or panic for I know the Lord will go personally ahead of me. Thank you for going ahead of me Lord. I have assurance in the fact that your word tells me you will never leave me or forsake me. So I know you are with me throughout this day. And that is a promise that I have assurance in. Your word tells me in Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God 
will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Lord Almighty, these are your words. And your word says, you will go personally ahead of me. Therefore, I have no reason to be fearful because I know that you are going before me. It says in your word, in Exodus chapter 14 verse 14, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I thank you, Lord, that throughout this day you are fighting my battles. The unseen battles that I don't see, I thank you for them, Father, because I know that you are fighting them for me. I thank you for this divine protection. You are my protector. You are my shield. I commit myself to you. I commit all of my loved ones to you in the name of Jesus, that you may protect us from the hidden dangers, health issues, emergencies and accidents in the name of Jesus. I apply the precious blood of Jesus on each and every one of my family members in Jesus name. Father, in this year, I need your protection now more than ever. We need your covering now more than ever. And the wonderful thing about you, Lord, is that when I need you more than ever, you always come through. For you are a God that never fails. Therefore, we have assurance in your protection, Lord. We have assurance in the protection of the God that never fails. I am thankful for this. I am grateful, Lord, that you have promised to be my shield and my protection. I ask in faith that the light of your presence may shine upon me and enfold us as we go through this day. Father, we ask that you may protect us and all of our families from all the evils that lurk in the world or that may try to endanger us in Jesus' name. You see things that we don't see. So we place our lives in your hands, Lord. Keep and uphold us from all the evils and all the worries that could try to approach us this day in the name of Jesus. Place a hedge of safety and protection around us in the name of Jesus. Father, our thoughts are fixed on you. We pray Isaiah 26, 3, that you will keep us in perfect peace, all because we trust in you. Thank you that your peace is overflowing in our lives. You are our strength and our refuge. Therefore, we declare that today we will refuse to fear and that no fear may enter our lives in Jesus' name. We trust in your protection, Lord. Therefore, we refuse to fear, though the world may be shaken or removed Therefore, we refuse to fear, though the world may be shaken or removed and the mountains carried away in the middle of the sea, for you are always with us. We ask you, Father, that you may help us keep our focus on Jesus, our Saviour, day by day, comprehending that only through him do we have all we need to stand firm in the evil day. Help me, Lord, that today as I go about my daily business, I may be covered in the full armour of God that you have granted me to wear, so that I may be able to stand against every deceit and strategy of Satan. We decree that the Lord is our shepherd to feed and to guide and to shield us. We shall not lack. He makes us lie down in fresh, tender, green pastures. He leads us beside still and restful waters. He refreshes and restores our lives. 
He leads us on the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, though we walk in the deep, sunless valley of the shadow of death, we will not fear or dread no evil. For you are with us, your rod to protect, your staff to guide and comfort us. You prepare a table before the presence of our enemies. You anoint our heads with oil, our cups run over. Surely, only goodness and mercy and your unfailing love shall follow us all the days of our lives and the length of many days. The house of the Lord and his presence shall be our dwelling place. Amen and Amen.